form of expenditures. Whenever you see the word expenditures, what does that mean? Modified accrual basis. In your mind, little lights of cash should go up, right? Okay. So what amount of expenditures would be recognized in fiscal year 2014? Not expense, expenditure. Only the first one, which is what? We only missed by one day, right? Because the next one would be when? Would be January 1st. You missed it by one day. You mean for one day we don't have to accrue? Yes. Now, let me ask you a question. Looking at this, how would you do it on the accrual basis? If you had to calculate this for the statement of activity, the interest expense. That's right. You would have interest accrual for, yep, you'd have that entire year accrued in the statement of activities. And remember, interest shows up as a separate line, right? Interest on long-term debt. See the difference between statement of net position on accrual basis and statement of revenue and expenditures on the modified accrual basis. Okay, everybody uh, clear? Um, by the way, just make a note to look at this example further on page 220, okay? That just shows you a little bit more. So you, I want you to really get this down, okay? On page 220. The term is when it's legally due. And basically, this is what happens when you, um, you know, if you're spending money as interest or principal expenditure, you need to get it from somewhere. And you get it from the general fund, from the taxes, and that account is called estimated revenues. You set that up, okay? Estimated other financing sources, 